Hey there, YouTube. Me and Michael. We'll even Charlie's. I was just uh, helping her clean up. Kind of hanging out and stuff. But we're done. Nothing to do. Just kind of chilling. So I was telling her, I'm just go home, be lazy at home. And, uh, I'm just setting up the Jeep with a couple things. I got my aux cord. And I got my power cord for my phone. So I can leave my phone plugged in and then I can leave it. The ox in here as well. See? Ah. Yeah. Ooh, the GoPro's right next to the stereo. Yeah. Leave the ox plugged in. So yeah. I can finally vlog during the day now that I got the GoPro mounted in the truck. Although the sticky's not holding as well because of the heat. And probably, probably that's pure mode. There we go. So how are you guys? I'm doing okay. I'm kind of tired. A little bored. That's why I'm going home though. So I can rest and listen to music at my house. Yeah, new Jeep, loving it. Um, only people I've really told about it, besides like family members, really, is uh, Charlie and Eddie. Both of them seen it. I still need to tell my dad though. I haven't sent him a picture of it yet. I know he'll be excited about it. Oh, is it really? There's a ton of traffic. There's literally no traffic on the street earlier really while me and Charlie are cleaning. Now it's just vehicles galore. So yeah. I uh, don't really have a lot to talk about this. I've been applying for jobs like crazy, uh, contacting temp agencies, putting my name and my resume up there. Um, just applying anywhere I can. And then, uh, oh, but Charlie prepared for her party. And we get ready for Eric's party, so can't wait for that one either. So yeah. Not a whole lot to talk about. Uh, getting used to my Jeep. Got this, so I don't have to worry about getting CDs out here no more. And, um, charger. Oh, hang on, I'm getting a call. What? Hang on. Hello? That was Wolf. I haven't talked to that dude in hell long. Apparently he's just trying to find someone who's selling a laptop or a computer or something. Or a will like to trade it for a 50cc. But nope, not getting rid of my hardware. Sorry bud. But yeah, so I'm loving the Jeep. Getting used to it. So happy all the insurance and all the paperwork's all done on it. And now I just really can't wait for a job. Um, when I get home, I'll probably look to see if I have any project videos I can work on editing up. Otherwise, it's really just going to be another day of trying to rest and probably getting hit with a couple of chores and things to do. Because it's been a lot of just boring stuff that I need to get done. And when I, when I have to get stuff like that done, I just usually try to get it done. Because you can't always make it all fun games or entertaining. It's just... Sometimes it's stuck with being boring, so... Yeah. But, um, yeah, I'll just talk to you guys when I get home. Alrighty. This one's a store with Cinderblock. <laughs> to get stuff for tacos. I don't feel like waiting for those people, so let's go backwards. But yeah, tonight is going to be a taco night. Serena's idea, which I think she's kissing my ass by doing I'm not I'm not sure no never <laughs> so because she then immediately brought up um, the fair afterward no I'm joking <laughs> so I think I think a little ass kissing is coming up so Serena wipe your nose off it's a little brown oh, whatever. Oh, I'm just kidding <laughs> Jason looks like he's almost done with his car so that's good 
not even done. <laughs> I can't wait to hear about the bug getting uh, brought back home. That'll be cool. And yeah, like I said, possibly stay there tomorrow. Well, we'll see how that goes. I'm all right in gas, so maybe. The only reason why I will definitely throw it aside is if, hey, I get called in for a job, then yeah, I will be flipping the state fair a bird. Because I really cannot wait to start working. I'm excited for it. But yeah, Hannah, do you have anything to add? It's been actually really quiet, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, while I was at Charlie's, it was real quiet. I just kind of helped her pick up the backyard and clean stuff up. I started helping her clean the pool, and she's like, Oh, we don't have to worry about that. Pool guy's coming tomorrow. I kept cleaning it anyways. Because if I take care of one thing, then he could focus more on another thing. So, I netted the whole pool. So now he can focus on the sweeping better. But yeah. Definitely enjoying having my own vehicle though. That's awesome. Hey there YouTube. Take a wild guess to where I am going. Yep, what is this? Third trip to Charlie's today or second? I don't know. That seems like the main form of uh, commuting it seems. But aside from just wanting to hang out and kinda plan on picking her up anyways because she wants to spend the night. I need someone to talk to, and I'm going to talk about the topic twice. Once to her, and then once to you guys. And the once to you guys is now. And the topic is guilt trips. I can't stand them. I really hate guilt trips. Especially, a guilt trip, in some instances, is okay and might even be necessary. Especially when it comes to someone flaking out in an event. Or something to that extent. But what I can't hand handle is someone talking to me about oh you know they might be moving away to wherever out of state but they don't really want to and they're trying to stay for reasons that they really shouldn't be I give positive feedback some advice based off experience and what I've seen is like just try to be positive in literally every way just shut out the negatives even give reasons to completely ignore negatives. And then I just completely get guilt trips. And just show, just like, I just, I'm not being negative, I'm not flaking out, I'm not trying to back, no, I'm trying to help. And I'm trying to show this, the aspect that you're trying to focus on of the situation to keep you here isn't changing from here to there. It's not getting any better, it's not getting any worse the same. It's quiet. It's going to be much of it. Just, I, I just can't stand it. Oh. The, the, my vlog should be called like my soapbox. I should literally just stand on a box of soap and just say what I've got to say. Maybe I'll make that a skit. But yeah, that's just that's what it's becoming to be and I, I really can't stand it. It's so annoying. Hey, what you gotta do? 